Let's work on the lesson, addition sentences up to 20. It says, Angela gave three sticks of gum to Isabel and three sticks of gum to Olivia. How many sticks of gum did she give away? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. Here's an example of an addition sentence. Two plus five is equal to seven. All right, let's look carefully at this problem. I can see that Angela gave three sticks of gum to Isabel and three sticks of gum to Olivia. All right, how many sticks of gum did she give away? We're going to write an addition sentence. Well, I see that she gave three sticks of gum to Isabel, so we will put three and three sticks of gum to Olivia. So that and lets me know that I am adding. All right, how many sticks of gum did she give away? Well, now we have three plus three is equal to a number. So let's figure out what three plus three is equal to. Let's draw three dots. Then we'll leave our space and we'll draw three more. Now let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great, so my addition sentence is three plus three is equal to six. Let's type that in. Three plus three is equal to six. Next we have, Emma sold three footballs and five soccer balls. How many footballs and soccer balls did she sell? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. Well, I see that she sold three footballs and five soccer balls. And they want to know how many footballs and soccer balls she sold in all. So let's draw our picture. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three plus five is equal to eight. All right, during Evan's birthday, guests ate four pieces of vanilla cake and three pieces of chocolate cake. How many pieces of cake were eaten? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. Well, I know his guests ate four pieces of vanilla and three pieces of chocolate. How many pieces of cake were eaten? All right, so our sum here is missing. Let's draw a picture. One, two, three, four, you leave a space, one, two, three. I leave a space between my dots so that I don't get confused and mix up which dots are for which number. So now I know there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it was seven pieces of cake. All right, Sarah read, nine books during the school year and one more in the summer. How many books did Sarah read? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. Well, I see that they use the word more. So I have nine books during the school year plus one more in the summer. Well, this is a good example of how to count up because if I draw nine dots for nine and I count them all, I'm going to end up with nine because I drew nine dots. Now I can just draw one for my one and instead of having to draw nine over here, I can just say nine because I know I would have nine here and then count up one more, so nine, 10. So nine plus one is equal to 10. Nine plus one is equal to 10. All right, our next one says that Grace read nine books during the school year and one more in the summer. How many books did Grace read? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. So I know that Grace read nine books during the school year and one more. So I know I will be adding and that is equal to a number. Do you remember this one? We did one similar to this. 
Yes, yeah, so we had nine over here. If we were to draw nine dots, we'd know we'd have a nine. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. So now I don't need to count these because I know when I do, once I get to the very end, I'll be at nine. And I can say 10 because that's the next one. So nine plus one is equal to 10. Do you see that equation down below? Yes, I do too, right here. Nine plus one is equal to 10. Nine plus one is equal to 10. So that is the correct option. All right. Jackson read five books during the school year and one more in the summer. How many books did Jackson read? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. So we know Jackson read five books during the school year and one more. So plus one is equal to a number. What is that equal to? What is one more than five? Because we have five and then just one more. So if we held up five fingers and then put up one more, it would just be the next number up, right? Yes, six. Five plus one is equal to six. Do you see that down below? I see five plus one, but it's saying is equal to seven. That's not true. Six minus one is equal to five. That one's not it. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1? No. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6? 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Yes, this is the option. All right. During Christopher's birthday, guests ate nine pieces of vanilla cake and one piece of chocolate cake. How many pieces of cake were eaten? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. All right, so guests ate nine pieces of vanilla cake and one piece of chocolate cake. What does that and tell us we're going to do? Add or subtract? Yes, add. So we're going to add the one piece of chocolate cake. And that is equal to a number. All right, what is one more than nine? Yes, 10. We're just adding one to nine and it is 10. Do you see this equation down below? I see nine plus one. Oh, is equal to nine. Nope, that's not right. 10 minus, well, I see the minus sign. I know we are not subtracting. Same with this one down here. I know we're not subtracting, so that one's not the option. Ooh, nine plus one is equal to 10. Nine plus one is equal to 10. Zachary read seven books during the school year and three more in the summer. How many books did Zachary read? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. So I know he read seven books during the school year and three more. So more is telling me that I am adding. Seven plus three is equal to a number. Well, I could draw seven dots here, or I could just start by saying this number because I know if I draw seven dots and count them all, I will end on seven. I know that there will be seven there, so I'm just going to draw three for three. So we'd have seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, so seven plus three is equal to ten. Well, I'm going to cross both of these off because these are both subtraction, and I know we're not subtracting. And here I see seven plus three. Oh, is equal to six, nope. Seven plus three, ah, is equal to ten. This is the right one. Connor baked four bran muffins and five blueberry muffins. How many muffins did he bake? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. Okay, Connor baked four bran muffins and five blueberry muffins. There's that word again, and. All right, let's add. Okay, four plus five is equal to a number. Let's draw four dots. And let's draw five dots. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is four plus five is equal to nine. Again, I'm going to look and see which ones are adding and which ones are subtracting because the ones that are subtracting, like this one, we can cross off because we know the, these won't be the right answer. All right, four plus five is equal to nine. Four plus five is equal to nine. Ah, this looks like it. But let's check the other one to make sure. This one's also four plus five. Oh, but they say is equal to 10, so that is not right. 
So this was our correct one. Savannah sold four footballs and one soccer ball. How many footballs and soccer balls did she sell? Write an addition sentence that fits the story. All right. So as I was reading, I was waiting for this and because they told us she sold four footballs and one soccer ball, but I wanted to know, did they want me to add or subtract? And here they said, how many footballs and soccer balls did she sell? So I know I'm going to be adding four footballs plus one soccer ball is equal to a number. All right, so if we have four plus one, it is just one more than four. What number comes after four? Yes, five. All right, cross off all the subtraction. Four plus one is equal to eight. Nope. Four plus one is equal to five. Yeah. Fantastic work today, my friends.